In this video, we're going to take a look at what generators are inside of ES6. Now, you can think as generators as functions that can be paused and resumed. Let's take a look at the syntax and how we can make our first generator. So if we make a new function named myGenerator, at first it looks like a standard function, but to make it into a generator, we have to add this star. So let's add an asterisk after the function keyword. After that, we can give the user a variety of different values over time by using the yield keyword. So if we said yield one, yield two, and yield three, when we call the dot next on this function, we will initially get the value of one, and only when we call the dot next again, will we get two and three. So let's take a look at this in more detail. Now you may think that the way that we do this would be to call my generator and then add dot next. If we log this out to the console, you'll see that we do indeed get the value of one. But if we take this and we run it again, you'll notice that we get one in both instances. So this is not actually what we want. What we want to do instead is capture that generator object. So let's make a new generator object. And that's equal to our my generator function. Then inside of our object, we can log out the generator object dot next. You'll notice that we have the value of one. And if we do the same now, we get the value of two and value of three. Inside of our returned object, we also get a done keyword. And if we wanted the value only, we would have to do dot next. And then of course our dot value. And essentially what this is, is an iterator. So the iterator gives us the value and the done. You'll notice that if we try and do a dot next once more, the value becomes undefined and done is equal to true. And this is because our generator object has no more values to yield to us. So essentially, we've got the values one, two, and three, and there's no more after that. Instead of returning undefined, we can also return an actual value. So if we were to return, this is the final value, you'll notice that our generator is updated here at the bottom. After logging out one, two, and three, the final value is the current string here, this is the final value. We also get done equal to true. So that's essentially how we can use generators inside of ES6. We can use it to step through and yield different values over time. So this makes it really good for asynchronous operations. And we can check to see whether we're done with our Boolean, which is done equal to false or true. And of course, provide a final value. There's quite a bit more depth that you can get into with the generators and iterators, but this should serve as a good introduction. If you found this useful, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more content. And don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for a variety of courses that I have on Ionic and much more.